Welcome back to tonight's broadcast of IHSAA 3A Sectional 8 Soccer, Girls Soccer on Hamilton County Television. Presented by Logan Street Signs and Banners, celebrating over 26 years in business. We'd also like to thank our other great sponsors, Noblesville Trophies, Community Health Network, Church Church Hiddle and Antrim, Smith's Jewelers, One Zone, and the HCV, HCTV calendars.com my name is brad silbert it's my pleasure to be here tonight at white river elementary school home of the millers with none other than dan axe and uh, those of you who know dan knows that uh, this gentleman has got a, a soccer background uh, second to none and dan it is great to have you here uh, this evening uh first before we talk about this uh game coming up here let's just talk just a little bit about the first game at uh was quite a uh, quite a game between the Millers and uh, the Tigers. It was a heck of a game. I think Noblesville is going to be tremendously disappointed. They were just an outstanding team. Um, got a chance to uh, to speak to Coach uh, um, Beasley there for just a second on Fisher's side. They were extremely happy. Um, always tough to lose, especially tough to lose in a penalty kick situation. Well, we've got uh, 80 more minutes of soccer here on Hamilton County Television tonight, and we have the Pendleton Heights Arabians and the Muncie Bearcats. Dan, we don't know a whole lot about these teams, but uh, we do know that the Bearcats come in here one and eight. Obviously, uh, you know, a team uh, that uh, is rebuilding. And the Arabians come in at nine four and two. Arabians part of the uh, Hoosier or the uh, Crossroad or the uh, Hoosier Heritage Conference. Uh, Bearcats in the North Central Conference. So both of these teams uh, come out of uh, very good conferences. Yeah, for soccer, um, the, probably the uh, North Central Conference isn't quite that strong anymore. The um, they they play, I believe, in the East Division. It's actually divisional now. Uh, Pendleton plays um, and finished second in the uh, HCC to, uh, I believe it was. I'm sorry, the HHC to um, Mount Vernon. So um, they had a good season and. Uh, yeah, the uh, the Arabians were five and two in the conference. Mount Vernon won the conference at seven and zero, oh, and they were fifteen one and zero. Oh. We're going to turn things over to Andrew Trisler, the public address announcer here at White River Elementary, to introduce the starters for tonight's game. Here's Andrew. Final match features the Muncie Central Bearcats and the Pendleton Heights Arabians. Let's meet the starting lineups. First for the visiting team, the Muncie Central Bearcats. Number zero. A senior, Riley Stafford. Number three, a senior, Kaylee Hathaway. Number four, a senior, Brianna Anderson. Number five, a junior, Claudia Jimenez. Number six, a freshman, Sophia Brink. Number seven, a junior, Kathleen Hunter. Number nine, a senior, Olivia Brink. Number 10, a sophomore, Destiny Roberts. Number 12, a senior, Ayala Wilson. Number 14, a junior, Kennedy Little. And number 25, a junior, Ariana Escamilla. The head coach of the Muncie Central Bearcats is Alexander Williamson. And now let's meet the starting lineup for the home team, the Pendleton Heights Arabians. Number one, a senior, Megan Green. Number two, a sophomore, Riley Shrink. Number zero, a junior, Megan Mills. Number five, a junior, Maddie Likens. Number six, a sophomore, Macy Browning. Number seven, a sophomore, Sarah Dix. Number nine, a senior, Helena Talbot. Number 10, a senior, Taylor Fort. Number 11, a senior, Claire Findle. Number 12, a junior, Lexi Hill. Number 18, a senior, Leonie Wilson. And the head coach of the Pendleton Heights Arabians is Mark Davey. We have the starters, Dan, and uh, this looks like it could be possibly somewhat of a lopsided matchup tonight. It looks like uh, on the year so far, Pendleton is, sorry, on the, on the year so far, Pendleton has scored 71 goals and only a couple goals for uh, Muncie Central. But they've got a win on the sheet, so 
we'll see what happens. Well, you know, you never can tell what's going to happen. We've already had uh, two uh, lower-seeded teams win in this tournament so far, Dan. And uh, Knocking we'll just, out the number one and the yeah, number two team in we'll the just have to, as well. Uh, we'll just have to uh, see what happens here, here in the next uh, 80 minutes. Both of the teams getting ready. The officials are ready. And we are just about ready for the second semifinal match. The winner of this match will come on, be back here on Saturday evening at 6 o'clock to uh, play the Fishers Tigers. And uh, I understand you ran across Coach Beasley uh, there between games, Dan. Yes, what did I he did, have to say? Just for a minute. I, I didn't want to interrupt anything. I just congratulated him, and uh, he looked like he was one happy gentleman with uh, surrounded by a lot of happy parents and a, and a team. Well, that's good to hear. So if you're wondering about the remaining uh, high numbers in the rankings, uh, Castle is number three. They play tonight down south. And Carmel number four beat Garen tonight one to nothing. But we'll probably be getting some scores during this game. Yeah, we should, uh, especially those uh, those up in the uh, southwest and the northwest, we will... Uh, <laughs> Be uh, hearing those a little bit later with the uh, time change that we have. Right. <laughs> Pendleton Heights in uh, their dark green uniforms with light uh, numbers, white numbers. They're moving right to left on your screen. The Muncie Central Bearcats in uh, the white uniforms with the uh, purple numbers. They'll be moving left to right or north to south. Ball goes out of bounds, and the Arabians will place it in play. Right out in front of the goal. Arabians with a shot. That, that goes right off the post. Lucky break there for Muncie Central, Dan. Absolutely. Absolutely. Looks like a corner. Thank you for joining us here tonight on Hamilton County Television. Second of two games that we have for you this evening. Apologize for the late start. Had uh, an overtime game there in the first game between the Tigers and the Millers. I was just reminded that uh, the Noblesville boys lost last night in a penalty kick yeah, shootout they did. as well. Riley Stafford comes out to make the save. She'll kick it back in with the free kick. See if the uh, Bearcats can get some pressure down the field here. Rabians took it right away. This is a long time for these two teams to wait. So it's, uh, what time is it here? We're at it's 8.10. 8.10, so we're about 40 minutes. This should be a entering halftime of this mm -hmm. game with uh, with the first one going so long. So been a long day for both these teams already. Wind has died down. It does, will not be a factor here in the second game. It's cooled down, though, and I've yeah. got a feeling that's going to make this field a little bit slicker. And it was already slick. This is as nice a field as there is, yes. I think. 63 degrees here in uh, Noblesville right now. 81% the humidity. And as we said during the first uh, first game, especially the uh, north end of the field seemed to be very slippery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think now we're getting the, into the dew here. Mm -hmm. It's been a few years ago, but we actually had a fog game. And, uh, you couldn't see across the field. Well, growing up in Chicago, I can remember a couple Bears games where there was either blizzards or fog. Shot goes on the net. Stafford comes out and makes the save. I think it's a good thing we brought jackets with tonight, Dan. Yeah, I wish. Of course, uh, uh, you're, you're braving it there in shorts tonight. Wish mine wasn't in the car. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if you're nice to uh, athletic director Tony Euler, he might go out and get that for you. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't <laughs> think it's going to happen. He 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 did a nice gesture for my dog this week. So uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Stella, Stella, yeah. Nice to see Tony up here in the press box with us. 
Thanks to him and the uh, rest of the staff at Noblesville here for their hospitality. It's always a pleasure to come here and uh, play at, uh, at, at any of the Miller facilities, first-class facilities all over the uh, city of Noblesville here. And when we say all over the city, we're not, we're not just kidding. Go from the east side to the west side to the north side for, uh, for facilities here. Here's another shot. That one goes left. Arabians trying to keep the pressure on early here, Dan. And yeah, they are keeping the pressure on. They average 4.73 goals per, per, uh, per game. Unfortunately for the uh, Bearcats, they've only, uh, I, I think officially they've only got one goal, but they actually scored a second one in, a, uh, in an overtime, I believe. Out of bounds, the Arabians will put it back in. <laughs> Corner kick coming up here for the Arabians. Give them an opportunity here. Five minutes gone here. First half of the second match of the semifinals. Seems weird to say semifinals, Dan, when these teams are playing, when, their when, first when they're both playing their yeah. first uh, first games. But with six teams, two teams are going to get a bye. Well, the way the IHSA draw works out, it seems like you, what, you've had two teams play two games before these two teams have played a game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Arabians with an opportunity here, trying to get it across the center. See if they can take advantage of this. They cannot. Lexi Hill sends it back in. Looks like she got a goal. Was that yeah, Hill who got the a, goal? There was a deflection back here in the back. So who's going to get the goal on that one, Dan? They're giving it to number 12, Lexi Hall. Middleton High School, number 12, Lexi Hall. So the Arabians are out to an early one to nothing lead here with 33-56 remaining here in the first half. First official goal scored tonight on this on this field. First goal in the run of play, you're right? Yeah. We went to 8-15 uh, mm -hmm. before we had a goal. Good thing it's a little cool out there. It'll keep us awake. Yeah, I don't mind the cool at all. That's, that feels good. I don't think these players will mind it either, Dan. Another shot on the goal. That one's going to go over. Shot by Taylor Fort. I think Muncie Central is going to need to sort of uh, protect it a little bit closer here. They're going to close down these shooters. Lexi Hall, that was her sixth goal of the season. She's got six assists, so she's got 18 points on the season. A lot of scoring power out there for the Arabians. Elena Talbot with 18 goals. Taylor Fort with 14. Claire Fendel with 11. I don't care what conference you're playing. You score 72 goals. That's a lot of yeah. goals in a season. Yep, they're working hard. Arabians get it right back from the Bearcats. So if you weren't with us earlier, Avon winning and penalty kicks over Brownsburg tonight. So Another opportunity for the Arabians. Two nice saves quick, there. Yeah, two quick saves there by uh, Riley Stafford. Who you were saying earlier tonight to Avon? Yeah, they beat, uh, beat Brownsburg Brown tonight in PK, so... A lot of PKs they keep here playing. in the last few days. Well, again, there's two teams that know each other extremely yeah. well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. it's like you're playing yourself. You know yeah. some of these teams so well. Almost like it's a family reunion. That one goes up on top of the net and bounces back. I don't know if they hit the crossbar. Another shot. 
That one's off to the right. I don't think the ball's gotten out of about the... Has it been across the midcourt line yet? I'm not Midfield sure it's been line? out of about 30 yards. Not very far. Riley Stafford will put it back into play. Arabians keeping the pressure on. Bearcats trying to clear the zone, which they do. It's across the midfield line. NC Central's got some speed. They've got some strong folks here. Pretty good technique. Arabians put it back into play. Here's Blair Fendel in the corner trying to center it. Nobody there but uh, white shirts. Another play. Oh, nice move. Ooh, yeah, there. nice move there by uh, Taylor for Ford. Corner. Ball ends up going out of bounds. The Arabian, the Arabians have the ball on that? Yes, they do. They're getting it. Yep, they are. Yeah, deflected out. Three minutes. Ten minutes gone in this one. Rabians with a one to nothing lead, keeping the pressure on the Bears. There's another shot right at the goaltender, Stafford, and she makes the save. Takes the free kick, gets it almost to midfield, but the Arabians take it right back. Sarah Dix sets it up for the Arabians. Over to Manny Likens. Lexi Hill. We got the goal earlier. Arabians keeping the pressure on the Bearcats. Good move there. Shot and a save. Nice shot by Lexi Hill. She almost had her second goal. Or Lex, yeah, Lexi Hill, I'm sorry. Nice save there, too. Well positioned. 29 minutes remaining here in the first half. Arabians have kept the pressure on the Bearcats. All game long so far. Oh boy, that, that, that hurt. Feel good. Yeah, for the looks like she's okay. Another shot on the goal. That was a very nice save. That ball was right at her feet. Yeah. She's okay out there, but boy, her feet went right out from I under. can't see what the number is on that uniform. Is that four or six? Six or I think. six it's either six or eight. Well, she's running right at us. So. Well, maybe it's eight or nine. I can't tell yet. It is number eight. It's uh, no, it's nine. I'm sorry, yeah. Olivia Brandt. She took a hard fall, but boy, she got right back up and she's coming down the field. Arabians trying to get it set up. Taylor Fort. Takes a shot, goes wide to the left. Just seems like as soon as the uh, Bearcats put that ball in bounds, Dan, there's a. Uh, a group of Arabians right around it, and they're taking it away from them. Winner of this game will play the Fishers Tigers Saturday night at 6 o'clock. You can't make it here to White River Elementary. Dan and I will be back here Saturday night to bring you all the action in the championship game. Another shot nice on center. goal deflected. 
still out in front of the net. Oh my, about three opportunities there in goaltender Stafford. She had a rough time figuring out which way to go, Dan. Yeah, she had her defenders backing right into her as well. Looks like she's got some help on each side of the net there now. A lot of coaches do this where they'll put somebody in the post. Right into the center, Stafford knocks it out of bounds. Muncie Central coached by Alexandra Williamson. Pendleton Heights coached by Mark Davey. Arabians come in here at 9-4 and 2. Bearcats at 1 and 8. Off the head, out of bounds again. Well, we're almost 15 minutes in, and they've only given up one goal. So, so far, this uh, defensive alignment's worked pretty well. Mm-hmm. Well, the, uh, the Arabians have kept the pressure on them, that's for sure. And once again, the Arabians get that, uh, get the ball. There comes Claire Fendel. Goes out of bounds. I didn't see who that was off of, who it'll go to. 25-17. Is that going to be a corner kick, I believe, Dan? Yeah. Corner kick coming up for the Arabians. It's like the wind's picked up just a yeah. little bit out there. That flag's moving pretty good. Four defenders in front of the net for the Bears, for the Bearcats. Shot on goal again. That's about the fifth shot on goal already here in the first uh, 15 minutes of this game. Muncie Central, the only high school left in public high school left in the uh, city of Muncie. Of course, that's also the home of the Muncie Fieldhouse. And Hopefully they'll have that all repaired and back open for basketball this year. Yeah, they were doing that. that yeah, that is, that, that is a great facility, and I, I hope that they can get that done for basketball season this year. Saw the band Blood, Sweat, and Tears there years ago. Hmm. Acoustic nightmare, but it was Oh, I bet really it was. A great place. Arabians on the attack, trying to get something set up down here in the Bearcat zone. Another shot taken by Stafford. She lost it, but then she grabbed it again. She's going to throw it into play. And once again, the Arabians take it right back. Riley Shrink had it. She still got it. Get the pass down in front of the goal. Foot race to it. The Arabians win it. Kicked across the net, and that's going to end up going out of bounds. I think if Pendleton has just a little bit more patience here, it's going to get rewarded. They've definitely got a little more speed than the, uh, the, the, the Muncie has got. The Arabians are definitely out hustling the Bears, Bearcats at this point. Club play contributes a lot to high school play, and Pendleton's close enough that a lot of the big clubs down here, you've got players playing. Muncie's still yeah. it's another good centering drive. shot. That one went off of, uh, I believe that went off of the Bearcat, and that'll be, uh, I believe, out of bounds to the, uh, will that be a corner kick, Dan? Yep. It's like number 10, maybe. Yeah, that's uh, Taylor Fort who's going to take that. Twenty-two thirty remaining in the first half. Pendleton High substitution number 14, Jaden Brown. Centered, shot, blocked. Once Poor again. communication back there. That ball should have been in the keeper's hands, and uh, yeah. the defender didn't do her any favors there. Yeah, there was almost a rebound shot there that uh, could have hit the, uh, it did hit the crossbar, but uh, fortunately for the Bearcats, that one went above the crossbar. Went up instead of down. Arabian defenders haven't had a lot of work to do tonight yet, have they, Dan? Not much of any. 
Ball's been down here once. There was a throw in over here on our side. Mm -hmm. They're keeping two or three back, but uh, for well, the most we part. Saw, we saw a game like this earlier this year. We saw Noblesville and Westfield, and if you remember, Westfield pretty much just kept Noblesville at bay and mm -hmm. kept them frustrated. Yep, they sure did. Arabians with another chance here. See if they can take advantage of it. Where's that ball at? Big time Oh, wow. There. Arabians trying to get, or the uh, Bearcats trying to get it out of the zone. They finally do. Looked like it was at least two or three opportunities on that for possible scores, Dan. That one will go out, and the Arabians will put it back into play. Lexi Hill, who scored the first goal of the game, she's got it. Trying to split the defender. She can't do that. Gets it back. Ariana Esmella got it out of there. Once again, the Arabians bring it back down into the Bearcat zone. Pendleton's being pretty conservative here. They're keeping three players back, even with nobody playing up high. Mm -hmm. They start getting frustrated, they'll bring another player or two. Once again, the Bears put the ball into play. But uh, Arabians get it. Lexi Hill, six goals on the season, one goal tonight. Hill in the middle, looking for some help. Gets around Olivia Brandt. Over into the corner. I think that's Claire Fendel down there for the Arabians. Have a corner kick. Nineteen oh six here in the, the first half. Thank you for joining us tonight for IHSAA. Class 3A, Sectional 8 Girls Soccer on Hamilton County Television. Our lead sponsor is Logan Street Signs and Banners. Also like to thank Noblesville Trophies, Community Health Network, Church Church, Hiddle and Antrim, Smith Jewelers, One Zone, and HCTV.com calendars for sponsoring this action tonight. All making it possible for you to see it. Good block there defensively by the Bearcats. Right in the center again. And uh, Stafford has to come over and make another save. I don't know if that would have gone in or not, but uh, a little hard to tell from our angle, but uh, she just can't take a chance on that, Dan. This keeper's going to have a big statistical night here. Yeah. Jaden Brown with the ball for the uh, Arabians. Arabians got it back again, trying to get it set up, moving it toward the goal. Good bit of defense there by Kaylee Hathaway. There's another shot that's going to go wide of the goal, but the Arabians are just consistently getting those shots, Dan, and they're getting second shots too. You might start looking for some through balls here, something to get in a little better. They're not connecting from distance. Arabians trying to get their offense set up. Yoni Wilson brings it across midcourt. Lexi Hill once again in the center. She takes a shot, takes a bounce, but right at the keeper. Riley Stafford there gets down on one knee, makes the save. That's going to be an out-of-bounds play again. That one will go back to the Arabians. Yeah. 
Arabians and the Bearcats. Second game of the semifinal round of sectional eight, IHSAA 3A girls soccer here from White River Elementary School in Noblesville. Just south of the White River. I think they got a covered bridge festival coming up this week just down the street from here, Dan. Where's that? There's a covered bridge right around the corner here off of uh, what would be old uh, Allison Hill Road or old 37. I'm trying to remember the name of what that bridge is called. But that's Potter's, Potter's bridge. bridge. Yeah, I believe that. Uh, thanks, Andrew. Uh, Deepest penetration of the night so far for the Bearcats. Try to get it back, and Destiny Roberts can't make the play. It's going to be an HSE Fishers uh, boys game at HSE at 2 o'clock on Saturday, and yep. 6 o'clock um, Fishers and one of these teams here. We will bring in, be bringing you both of those games. However, on the uh, Fishers HSE boys game, it will be video the only. Best chance, yeah. Another shot. Another save. Another try for a shot. That one goes wide. Credit Riley Stafford with keeping this game at one to nothing, Dan. She's done a heck of a job out there. She's going to want to use this as a highlight film. Mm hmm. And deservedly so. Stafford, a senior for the Bearcats. And for the Arabians, number six, Macy Browning. They've not given up a lot of goals. So the issue has been they haven't scored goals. They've scored. They've only given up 44 goals all season through uh, through nine games. And, and that's a lot, but it, but in relative terms, it's not, not that much. It's just they, they haven't scored. You may be seeing why. Arabians with another chance. Oh. That one goes off of the crossbar again. Stafford was jumping up to try to get that, but she was a foot short for that one. Once again, the goalkeeper's best friend, that crossbar and the uh, goalposts. She's a pretty tall girl. 13.50 mm -hmm. remaining here in the first half. Thanks for joining us here on Hamilton County Television. We weren't sure what this game was going to bring us. It's brought us a goal. Yeah, so far it's, uh, I mean, you, you can't uh, take anything away from the Bearcats. They've only given up one goal, but, you know, so far it's been uh, probably closer than I think what we and uh, what we had envisioned. Yep. If you're down a goal at halftime, you're in the game. Mm-hmm. The only win of the season for the Bearcats came at Anderson. Here's a chance for the Arabians again. That one's to the left. When they beat the uh, Indians one to nothing back on September 11th. Assuming that might have been an overtime game, Dan. Yeah, it may have been where that other goal comes from. Yeah, because they lost a game to Richmond, nine to one. So that obviously was not an overtime game. Referee is talking to the players out there. What's going on there? I thought originally he had called it penalty's way, but. Arabians with the ball once again. Macy Browning setting it up, trying to get it deep. It's going to go out of bounds. 
Bearcats give up 4.88 goals per contest. Which in soccer is that's that's a pretty high goals against average, isn't that's it? It's a very Dan? high goal, especially you know we're used to our conference because we do a lot of those games and see a lot of those games and they're usually awfully low scoring. Claudia Jimenez trying to uh, pursue Lexi Hill. Hill gets the ball over to Riley Shrink. Hill's got it once again. There's a shot that's going to be wide to the right. 10-42. In the first half. The rating substitution, number 10, Taylor Fort. So far, the Bearcats have not put a shot on the net. I really thought we'd see a lot more slipping and sliding on this end of the field, Dan. We saw that one big fall, and maybe yeah. that made everybody else be a little more careful. But I think the other thing is these two teams aren't going at it quite as intensely as uh, no, not Fishers and as Noblesville intensely. did, so I think that may make a little bit of a First time the keepers touched there. the yeah. ball. Here. She's going to try to get it back across, which she does. Pendleton trying to open the field up a little bit, playing the ball back to the keeper. I'm not sure who the goalkeeper is for Pendleton. They list two on their program. They list Gracie Addison and Kayla Lloyd. Muncie Central substitution, number six, Sophia Brandt. They both wear uniform number zero. That makes it harder. Yes. Andrew, when he introduced everybody, I can't, I, I can't remember who he introduced. Another shot that was blocked by the Bearcats. Arabians keeping up the pressure. Some good goaltending by Lot Riley Stafford has kept uh, Muncie Central in this game, Dan. Yeah, that's, that's been the difference. be Kayla Lloyd there in the net for the Arabians. Here we go. Breakaway. See if she can get the shot off. Good save. Wow. Once again, Riley Stafford has just come up with some great saves tonight, Dan. Here's another shot. That's that one goal. is goal. Number 10. Pendleton High School, number That's 10. Taylor number Fort. Take a look at this. Just to the left of Riley Stafford. That's her 15th goal of the season. Comes at the 748 mark of the first half. I was just thinking with all the pressure that uh, Pendleton has been putting on Muncie that uh, I'm a little bit surprised the score isn't bit, isn't higher. I think the keeper's been Yeah, Riley Stafford has done a done an excellent job. I don't think there was anything she could do to prevent that uh, no. that goal by Ford. <laughs> Arabians coming right back, putting the pressure on. Well, if Muncie Central can get out of this half, no more goals. Down two, maybe she can adjust a little bit here at halftime. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Maddie Likens trying to get things set up for the Arabians. Gets it into the center, now off to the right. Another centering pass. That one to Taylor oh, Ford. Oh, another good save. The Arabians just keep the pressure on. Easy save there by Riley Stafford. Give her give her an easy one once in a while, Dan. Yeah, that one before, that was Yeah, that was it was a, a She's got a good free kick too, doesn't she? Yeah, she's a strong girl. She's a nice throw. She distributes the ball well. Would appear she's probably gotten a lot of practice on saving this year. Mm -hmm. What do they say about the goaltenders? They have to have good eyes. They have to have good courage. Yeah. Good feet. Good turn of it all. Not quite as dangerous as being a goaltender in hockey, though. I mean, that ball comes at you quick, but that little disc that's frozen, yeah, that's, that's a little harder. But you're not wearing a mask out there. That's true. That's true. Bearcats with an opportunity to put it down into the Arabians end of the field. Arabians take it right back once again. Riley Shrink. Into the middle. Nobody there. Clear. That's a good idea though. Yeah. Yeah, put it there and let somebody get to it. Jaden Brown after the ball for the Arabians. Another centering pass, another shot, that and another nice goal. Shot. Nice shot. Might have been a deflection. Didn't Second goal of the night for Taylor sure. Ford. Second goal in about three and a half minutes. Yeah, I think there was a deflection in there. So who are we giving the credit the goal to? Uh, Ford. Ford is getting credit for the goal. That's her second of the night. 16th on the season. Already with two tonight. First one was about three and a half minutes ago at the 7.48 mark of the first half. It's a little bit like the uh, anderson Fishers game the other night. I was just thinking the same time. thing, yeah. Coming down to halftime here. Indians had the same problem against the Tigers trying to get the ball down into the Tiger end. I don't think they ever had a shot on goal the other night, if I remember no, right, didn't. Dan. That going to go out of bounds? Yes, it does. Once again, Arabians inbound it. Getting it into the center again. Shot, nice hit, another save. Right the keeper. Mm-hmm. You know, she doesn't kick that ball very hard, and it, she gets quite a bit of distance Yeah, she out does. Of mm -hmm. She sort of drops it on her foot there. She just, it looks like she's kicking it with little, if any, effort at all. And like a pooch punt. Yeah, and it, uh, it, it seems to uh, sail. There's a nice, uh, nice interception, but she just kind of hits it down there and they don't get anything out of it. Three defenders back there for the Arabians. Arabian goalkeeper comes about halfway out of the net. and Kayla Lloyd looked like uh, she was going to take it all the way down. She's still staying pretty high. Yeah.
Well, it's so infrequent coming down here, she can kind of play a sweeper keeper there. Might even have an iPod on listening to some music out there. No call on that. Yeah, I'm not sure there was a foul there. To... He's probably going to talk to him at halftime about turning into pressure because Pendleton gets down there close inside the box and instead of turning away from the pressure, they're just turning right back <coughs> into it. Coming up on two minutes here in the half. They're making it pretty easy for uh, Muncie. Another shot. That one goes wide to the right of the net. And Riley Stafford will put it back in play. You're absolutely right about the way she kicks. Watch, watch the way she kicks this ball. It's, it's like she's not putting any effort into it, but boy, it sure goes. Mm -hmm. She doesn't take a real long run up on it either, does she? That one wasn't her best. No, that wasn't a your real good one, but we were watching her. We yeah, jinxed her. we jinxed her. You're right. Arabians trying to get another goal here before the end of the first half. Riley Shrink trying to get it set up. Gets it over Lexi Hill. Hill with one of the three goals tonight for the Arabians. Another shot on goal. Stopped by Riley Stafford. Under a minute. There's one. Yep. She just barely puts her foot into that ball. Well, I kept my mouth shut and didn't jinx her, Dan. That was it. About time for one more rush here. Shot coming. Not a good time to make that mistake. Locked. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Another shot. That six, one goes wide. Five, four, and that will be three, the end of the first two, half of play here one. with the Pendleton Heights Arabians <laughs> leading the Muncie Central Bearcats <laughs> three to nothing. I'd like to welcome you to tonight's broadcast of IHSAA. 3A Soccer, sectional number eight. The Muncie Central Bearcats and the Pendleton Heights Arabians on Hamilton County Television, presented by Logan Street Signs and Banners, celebrating 26 years in business. Dan, your thoughts on the first half? Uh, I think uh, Muncie pretty much parked the bus, got everybody they could behind the ball, and uh, only gave up three goals. Could have been a lot more great goalie play by that keeper. We're going to be take a little break here. We'll be back with the second half after some messages from our great Hamilton County Television sponsors. When medical care is needed, where will you turn? With Communities Connect to Care program, one call or click finds you the closest open appointment. Request a time yourself or let us do it. From a primary care doctor or virtual visit, to a med check or community clinic at Walgreens. Just call or click. You can go right to our website or to me. Connect to Care from Community. Are you tired of watching your favorite IHSA broadcasts on your small mobile device? You can now watch them on your TV with new apps for Apple TV, Android TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. Brought to you by the IHSAA and Blue Frame Technology. First apartment. Dog named Bella. Boyfriend, TJ. With the sweet ride. And the bad secrets. Exit, TJ. Hey, it's Eric. Wedding, Eric Jr., new house. Luckily, once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or cover too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. Hey, Deb, why do they call us Logan Street Signs and Banners? Because we started off at Logan Street. But we're on South 10th Street. We moved 22 years ago. Why didn't we change the name? That would have just confused everybody and they wouldn't be able to find us. Now I'm really confused. Bill, 
where Logan Street signs and banners, conveniently not located on Logan Street, but on South 10th Street in Noblesville. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to order a hamburger, fries, salt, maybe a large vanilla shake. This is a trophy shop, can't you tell? You got carry out? Everything that you need, we have here at the shop. Very unique. You order today, carry out tonight, that's our version of carry out. All right, I'll take one of everything. Oh, that may take a little longer. We'll have it for you tomorrow night. I'll be back tomorrow to pick it up. We'll be waiting for you. Superheroes come in all shapes and sizes. They don't always meet in an underground fortress. Sometimes they meet in places that appear to be very ordinary to most people. But inside, there are heroes in training. Some are smart, strong, or brave. Maybe they can build cities, or heal people when they get hurt. But even superheroes need some help sometimes. With your support, we can change the world. Together, we are a force that can't be defeated. Support the club. Save the world. Support your local superheroes and donate now to the Boys and Girls Club of Noblesville at bgcni.org.
Welcome back to tonight's broadcast of IHSAA Class 3A Sectional 8 Girls Soccer on Hamilton County Television, presented by Logan Street Signs and Banners, celebrating 26 years in business. We'd also like to thank our other great sponsors, Noblesville Trophies, Community Health Network, Church, Church, Hiddle and Antrim, Smith's Jewelers, One Zone, and the HCTV Calendar. Com. And talking about that HCTV calendar, be sure to check out that calendar for upcoming events in Hamilton County, including local high school events. If you have an event, you can add it to our calendar. It's easy and it's absolutely positively free. That's the Hamilton County Community Calendar. Been online since 1995 at www.hctvcalendar.com. Friends, community health is Central Indiana's leader in providing health care services where and when patients need them. Any questions? Contact Community Health, 317-355-7775, or check out their website, www.ecommunity.com. I'm Brad Silbert, along with Dan Axe here at White River Elementary School, the home of the Noblesville Millers, host team of Sectional 8, Class 3A of high school girls soccer. Dan, uh, first half went probably, I I would say, just about uh, the way we scripted it out. Yeah, I think so. He may uh, try to save a few players in the second half for uh, Pendleton for Saturday. Um, But they had a pretty easy time of it. Riley Stafford, you got to give her a lot of credit. She uh, she kept this game down to a three to nothing game. It easily could have been a lot worse for the Bearcats had she not been on the ball. She had a good half a dozen excellent saves and probably a dozen strong saves. Taylor Fort, number ten for the uh, Pendleton Hates Arabians. She's got two of the Arabians' goals. She got the second and third goal. Those goals came at the 7.48 mark in the 4.06 mark. Uh, first goal was scored by uh, number 12, Lexi Hill. That happened at the 35.56 mark. And, Dan, when that goal happened, I thought, man, oh, man, this is going to be a long evening for the Bearcats. But uh, as I said before, Riley Stafford, she really, really stepped up to the plate and did a did a great job in the goal. Yes, she I, did. She took control back there. I'm sure that uh, Coach uh, Alexandra Williamson is going to miss her next year, one of the seniors graduating uh, on this Bearcats team. They've, they've got a lot of work to do, but uh, they, uh, you know, they're a young team. And uh, as you said, you know, one of the big differences for, these, uh, for some of these teams are is uh, up in the Muncie area, they don't have the uh, Recreational League for soccer to feed into the high schools that uh, – yeah, you know, we're seeing evidence of how that uh, makes a big difference tonight. Yeah, and they, I'm sure, have club soccer up there, but probably not to the extent you get down here in the in the Donut Counties around Marion County. Um, since we've lost the number one and the number two ranked teams, I just took a chance, looked up the number three. Castle won easily tonight over Evansville Harrison, scoring five goals in each half for a 10-0 win. Number four, Carmel beat uh, Garen one to nothing. So numbers three and four are in good shape. And Penn is playing uh, this evening, but we don't have a score in that game yet. Penn, the defending state champions that uh, took out uh, the Noblesville Millers last year in the semi stayed up in Kokomo. We had the pleasure of going up there and uh, doing that game in Kokomo at the uh, Municipal Baseball Stadium up there. First time I'd ever been there. That's a very nice facility, and it's, uh, it's the first time I'd ever seen a soccer game in a baseball field. I've seen football played at baseball fields, but never seen soccer done there. And I was uh, I was told when we were up there that when that uh, field was laid out, Dan, when they, when, they, when they laid that field out, they made sure that it was big enough that a soccer field could fit in there for the sole purpose of uh, not only high school sports there, but also uh, Indiana University there at Kokomo. Their baseball team plays there, and uh, they can... Uh, uh, I don't know if they've got a soccer team there, but I know their baseball team plays there. But they, uh, they they laid that stadium out large enough that they could get both a football field and a uh, 
soccer field in there with the hope that uh, that would eventually would happen. And yeah, I know they're very proud of that field up it, there. It is a nice facility. Like I say, last year when we went up there a year ago, that's the first time that uh, – we had a chance to visit up there, and it is, uh, it's is—it's most definitely, uh, uh, you, you know, you, you got a little bit of both up there in uh, in Kokomo. You got the old gym up there, the old, the old municipal gym, then you got the new municipal stadium. And so you got, uh, you know, you got you got the best of the new and you got the best of the old, all, all, all the history of the uh, uh, the arena up there at the, at the old Kokomo High School that's been preserved. I worked up there for years. It was uh a drive I made every day. <coughs> nice cross, easily handled by the keeper. She may have come out of the box there on that kick. Going to be another out of bounds play there. Bearcats trying to get something going here. They've got a three goal deficit. But again, this is a team that has not scored many goals all season. Only one in regulation and one in overtime all season long. Arabians take the ball away. Trying to get it set up there in the middle. And we have a stoppage here. I didn't see what happened. Did you see what happened on that no, one, No, I Dan? didn't. I was looking up that uh, pin. It's pin in Laporte tonight. Last score I had was 3-0 pin. And that's your number five team in the state. So three and four. And it looks like five are going to be in good shape. Looks like we had a player down over there. Oh, yeah, that's that's what it is. I'm sorry Maybe I didn't cramping see that. here. Can well, it has gotten, you know, it's, it's gotten considerably cooler. Yeah, they're trying to stretch her leg out there. Hobbling off the field. Well, let's hope it's just a cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to get those now and then. I haven't gotten them lately, but, uh, boy, those can be so painful when they happen. And frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very true. Three to nothing here in favor of the Pendleton Heights Arabians. Arabians will kick the ball back into play, not too far in front of the net. High into the right. Bearcats had six players across in front of the net, Dan. A lot of goal kicks tonight. Mm -hmm. Riley Stafford will put this one back in play for the Bearcats. University beat Sheridan tonight, and it's like Hamilton Heights beat Delta. Huskies are having a very tough football season this year. Looks like Zionsville 2-1 over Westfield. You know, what's ironic about way, the way some of these uh, IHSAA tournaments are lined up, you look at the HCC, the Hoosier Crossword Conference, you get some of these sectionals and some of the sports that maybe are uh, six to eight teams in a sectional and Five or six of those teams end up being right out of the HCC because of the proximity yep. to everything. Yep. Hey, 
Of course, with Hamilton, Southeastern, Fishers, Noblesville, Westfield, all being in Hamilton County. Zionsville being very, very close. Carmel. Carmel, of course, out of the Mick. But all these rivalry games that we get into every year. Leone Wilson tried to center it there for the Arabians. Arabians centering it again. Possible opportunity across there. They get it back, trying to get it to the center. They do not. Bearcats clear it, but the Arabians take it right back and put a shot down that's blocked. There's another shot. Deflection out of bounds. Bearcats need to make some better choices back there. She needed to clear that ball. Instead, she placed it over in front of another player who then mm -hmm. still couldn't clear the ball. And right now, they've got nobody up top, so there's mm -hmm. nobody to get the ball out to. Well, how many times in sports do you see that second chance is the one that really gets cashed in on? That one's cleared over to the side. Arabians pick it up again, trying to get it into the center. Did that go into the net or not? He says no. No, that was close. Ooh. Stafford jumped on that one, and I thought that might have been across the line there at first. Once again, the Bearcats get it out to uh, midfield, and that's all the farther they can get it before the Arabians take it away. Arabians down the sideline. Trying to get things set up once again. Riley Shrink is trying to get things set up. Bearcats trying to get it out of the zone, but the Arabians keep the pressure on. Lexi Hill, once again, looking for her second goal of the night. That one goes out of bounds. She's going to wish she had turned in shot right there. Yeah. Got a corner. Yep. Lexi Hill with one goal tonight. Taylor Fort with two for the Arabians. Into the corner. There's a shot deflected. Oh, man, a hard... Hard crash there. Is that going to get out of bounds? Or are they calling it. a foul? Take a look at that, Dan. See what you think. Oh, yeah. It was definitely a foul. Bearcats will set it up for a kick. Short kick over to the side. I don't quite understand the strategy on that one, Dan. Well, they haven't been Here winning too many Hill. balls in the air, so they're probably just going to try to control it a little better. That one's going to go out of bounds. And I believe that that will go to the Arabians. About 31-20 left in this one. Three to nothing in favor of uh, the Pendleton Heights Arabians. All the scoring in the first half. Thank you for joining us tonight here on Hamilton County Television. I'm Brad Silbert alongside Dan Axe. I'd like to thank our technical crew. We've got Lucas and Will on the camera and uh, directing and producing. Executive producer Jim Wofford back in the studio. Thanks to those guys for the great job that they do and taking care of all the technical aspects to make uh, make our job a lot easier, doesn't it, Dan? Absolutely. I'm sure that Pendleton would like to score a couple goals here and then sub out some people. Arabians get it down into the zone. Olivia Brandt tried to get it out of the zone, but she couldn't for the uh, Bearcats. That one goes out of bounds, and the uh, Bearcats will have the inbounds on that one. Well, looking into Saturday, Fishers has not scored a goal in the run of play. 
course, have only played one game, and that was against Nobleville, who doesn't give up too many goals. Mm -hmm. So it could be interesting. I would imagine Coach Beasley is probably going to be looking at some film from this game tomorrow. My guess is they may have already scouted him. A lot of people scout that uh, Mount Vernon mm -hmm. Pendleton game knowing that's going to be the probably the better game in that conference for the team we're going to see over at uh, this sectional. It's another nice facility out there at Mount Vernon. Mm -hmm. the goalkeeper going down the, going down here, Dan. She's going to fall back. Felt like indoor there for a minute. Yeah, Kayla Lloyd just decided, I'm going to take that ball across the midfield stripe. Centered. Stopped. Did it go in or not? No, it did not. That's another close one. That's the second close one that Riley Stafford's had just like that, Dan, where he got by her, but she managed to uh, make the stop. Claudia Jimenez took a little bit of a uh, hip check there, <laughs> went down. Here comes Macy Browning, gives it up. Arabians on the charge, possible dip, there we go. I think that's nice going to be the secret for them. They just keep those short little passes right up the middle. Once he centered just a little bit flat-footed. So Taylor Fort gets her third goal of the night. This one comes with 28.02 left here in the second half. That was a nicely set up play, wasn't it? Nice. Ticky tack. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And pass it in the goal. Keeper's frozen, has no chance on a ball like that. What they managed to do was find the open hole there, and here's a foot race to the ball between the uh, Arabians and the uh, Bearcats. Arabians win it. Four to nothing, 27-40 here in the second half. Threatening again. Arabians put it in front of the goal. Stafford takes it and takes it out of danger and will kick it back into play. Can you imagine what the score of this game would have been if they hadn't hit a goaltender out there the caliber of Riley Stafford, Dan? <laughs> yes. It's probably be an eight to eight or ten nothing game by this point. That was Javiana Smith with the ball for the Bearcats. Goes out of bounds. Bearcats get it inbounds. Claudia Jimenez. Here come the Arabians once again. That's a great ball out there. Yes, it was. Another one that the goalkeeper Stafford makes a nice save on. She doesn't handle that cleanly. It's a goal. There was somebody right on yep. her doorstep. 26-25 mm -hmm. remaining in this one. stayed in bounds and got kicked right toward the goal into Riley Stafford and she took it. She'll take the free kick. Jimenez with the ball. She got run off the play by Leone Wilson. Is your Pendleton's coach going to talk to him a little bit about just being careless out there? This is the time to work on your game. Get mm -hmm. ready for Saturday. 
Fishers would punish you for some of those yeah. mistakes. Another centering pass. Here's another shot off the off the post again. Between Riley Stafford and the post, both of them done a good job of keeping that ball out of the net tonight. Taylor Fort with three goals in this game for the Arabians. Lexi Hill with the other goal. That goal came very early in the match at the 35-50, rather 33-56 mark of the first half. Arabians with more pressure. Here's a shot. Once again, Stafford makes the save. Nice solid save. Of course, she's having to make them. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the shots. She there. has no choice. Defensively, uh, Muncie Central just not stepping out on them, giving them the room to take the shot. Their cats will have the throw in. That one goes out of bounds. Back to the Bearcats once again. That one's going to go all the way into the stands. A little bit under 24 minutes remaining in this one. Bearcats still do not have a shot on goal. I don't think they've gotten within 30 yards mm -hmm. of the net. That's a great they? ball. She, nice job of coming yeah. out on that ball. That nice instincts. Mm -hmm. She doesn't come out on that ball. She's going to be looking at a shot. Yep. Point blank. Arabians will have the inbound. Got a couple substitutions coming in here for the Arabians. Probably start seeing some of the younger players here, Dan. Yeah, I'd say. Four goal lead, he's, he's pretty much well in hand here. Yeah, I so say this game probably is well in hand. Don't get anybody hurt. Get some people some rest. Well, the nice Arabians need there. to keep, keep some pressure on, but they also uh, just need to play some good defense here. Another one that uh, Stafford comes out and grabs. Puts it back in play. Claudia Jimenez had a shot at it. She's going after it now. Middleton coming out of their shake just a little bit here. McKay, no, not McKay Hunchen. Uh, nice ball out down on the, on the baseline. Arian Zachary in for the Arabians. She's a junior. First time we've seen her on the field tonight. Some of the starters still out there. Well, since they didn't play the other night, he doesn't want his first experience for some of his subs to be Saturday night in the sectional final yeah. either. So mm -hmm. he'll mix them in with some starters. on your touch, work on your connecting your passes here. See in the field. Lots of things they can do in this game yet. Not quite halfway through this half, four to nothing in favor of the Arabians. Three goals by Taylor Fort, one by Lexi Hill. The 
Riley Stafford will put it back in play. Still quite a few of the starters for uh, Pendleton out there. Bearcats tried to get it across. They couldn't get it much over the midfield stripe. Going back on defense now. Bearcats clear it back away from the net a little bit. Leone Wilson puts it in there. Great through ball. Great job with the keeper. Riley Stafford just seems to have an, I don't know what you'd call it, a goaltender's instinct, Dan. Yeah, she's, good, uh, she's very good at it. She, she, she anticipates very well. Once again, when the game's played in front of you the whole season, you get probably get pretty good at that. Mm -hmm. That one's going to end up out of bounds. 1836 and counting. Arabians 18 minutes, 36 seconds away from playing another game. Bearcats 18 minutes, 20 seconds away from ending their season. Tough to see the season end, Dan. Yes, it is. Absolutely. <laughs> Radians continue to control the pace of this game. Arabians back toward the goal again. Trying to get it out in front of the goal. They do not. It goes out of bounds. I didn't see who that's off of. Looks like it's going to go to the Bearcats. It's a pretty good defense there. Mm -hmm. Seventeen ten remaining. Monty Central substitutions number nine, Olivia Brandt, and number 20, Haley Storms. Haley Storm seeing her first action of the night for the Bearcats. Claudia Jimenez goes out for a breather. Oh, oh my. Spilled it and got on top of it there. Mm. Riley Stafford had that, dropped it, and then fortunately for her, there wasn't a uh, offensive player right in front of her. Those would be good coaching points for him, though, when he gets ready for, for Fishers. Why wasn't somebody there to look for that rebound? Mm-hmm. Arabians on the move down the field. One to beat. Great Another shot. shot. Great shot into the corner Tight of the net. Little angle there. Great shot. I didn't see who got that, Dan. Did you see who got that? Let's see if we can tell on the replay. Oh, 
three. We're hearing it was number three. It is three. Pretty sure. Number three, Megan Mills. Megan Mills. First goal of the night. Sixth goal of the season. Six assists. She also plays goaltender every once in a while. There's a couple other scores. Homestead beat Fort Wayne Wayne tonight. Um, and it looks like Warsaw beat uh, Huntington North. Big, 6-1. to one. So it doesn't sound like there were any surprises tonight. No, huh? Huntington was ranked and Homestead was ranked. Once again here at White River Elementary, the uh, underdog won earlier tonight. Well, when those rankings wise. play, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ranking-wise. It's hard to be an underdog yeah. when you're yeah. any no, of those I, three. And, and I don't mean that in yeah. a derogatory no, manner at all. Mean. I just mean it... Uh, you know, from the fact that it was number two against number nine. It's who's going to have the best night? Another one centered. Oh, my. Arabians had 14.50. Yeah. yeah, Arabians had another chance to make it 6-0 there, and they just could not convert on that one. Arabians controlling the ball once again, intercepted, but right back to the Arabians. And they've got it back again on the far sideline. Into the middle. Can't get the centering pass off. Bearcats managed to clear it out of danger for the moment. rink that one goes out of bounds once again Riley Stafford will put the ball back in play Corner from the darkest corner over there. <clears throat> Plays the ball short. Under 13 minutes. bit of a foul on that one, wasn't there, Dan? Yeah, it was pretty, pretty tough not to call. That's right in front of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a little shove there, too. Not totally intentional. But. Arabians in control again. Oh, a great ball. Who will get there? That's she got that soul. one. Yep, that's going to go right into the goal. Keeper came out, made a nice try on it, uh, just slightly late. That was that ball. That goal was entirely that through ball up to her. I didn't see who got that. Did you? No, you don't know if we got on the replay, but that was a great ball. So the Arabians have stretched their lead to six to nothing. Three goals in each half in this game so far.
Another shot off to the right. I do see some substitutions over there, but it looks like all of them are uh, in the white shirts over there, Dan. Nobody uh, substituting for the Arabians yet. To be honest with you, he's got, he's got one. Come on. Okay. Central yeah. substitutions, number five, Claudia Jimenez, number 10, Destiny Roberts, and number 12, Ayala Robert Wilson. A little bit and sur- number eight, Alexandria Dildy. A little bit surprised. Arabian substitution, number 11, Claire Findle. Claire Findel, one of the starters for the Arabians, comes back in. Still got a good portion of the uh, players out there for the Ravens, the starters on the field. Centering pass blocked by the uh, Bearcats. Yoni Wilson with a nice bit of ball handling there. Bearcats trying to get it out of the zone, and they can't. If you're Pendleton's coach, one of the things you would have looked at tonight in that first game was if somebody scored, how did the goal get scored? Mm -hmm. And there were no scores, so there's nothing really to, to pick off from that. Bearcats with the kick. That one goes right out of bounds. And the Arabians will take it right back. And all Arabians tonight in this uh, game, Dan. Yeah, I don't think we're too surprised coming in. No, not at all. Having only scored one or two goals versus a team that's a powerhouse for scoring. Mm Mm-hmm. Another centering pass blocked by the uh, Bearcats. That's going to end up, uh, no, that's not going to get out of bounds, is it? Rolling all the way down into the corner. The Arabians pick it up. Nine minutes remaining in this one. Looking more and more like it's going to be a Tiger and Arabian championship Saturday night. We have a whistle. Still going to be there, ball, but just going to call it back. The Riley Stafford will put it back in play. She was getting some really nice kicks earlier in the game. She wasn't getting quite about distance on them. Tired now, from all the, all the kicks yeah. she's taken. This is one of those times when statistics just don't show it. Mm-hmm. She's played a terrific game. Yeah, she and has. She's given up six goals. So, mm-hmm. you know, her goals against average is going to be dreadful. And, uh, you know, it's not going to show that she probably could have given up another 10. Well, they will have given up. As of right now, they've given up 50 goals in the season. This being their 10th 10th game, so it puts them at uh, a 5-0 average. And I would imagine by this point in the game, the legs are starting to probably get a little bit tired by now. Especially if you're behind 6 to nothing. I saw a lacrosse match earlier this year, Dan, that uh, Hamilton Southeastern, when they won the uh, state title in lacrosse, they were down 14-9. to nine. That was pretty uh, pretty amazing. That was a big comeback. I have one of those stars in uh, class this year, and I had one of them last year. Cam Smith this year. Mm-hmm. 
We had the privilege of being able to broadcast that game here on Hamilton County Television. Once again, trying to get, get it out of the uh, out of danger there. Six and a quarter, 625. Here in the, the second half. Did you announce that lacrosse game? No, we had a couple of uh, former lacrosse coaches oh. do it, and uh, it worked out. They did an excellent job. They, they did a great job. Another shot on the goal. That one goes off to the left. As he was oftentimes uh, introduced, I had the legendary Keegan Logan in class last year. <laughs> All-American. You know, from an announcer's Arabian perspective, though, Carla Mendoza. that uh, lacrosse is a hard one to follow. Yes, it is. It's it's very hard to follow. I was one of the camera operators on that, and I had a heck of a time trying to follow the that ball's not very follow big. that ball. And they move so quickly. Yes, they do. Our producer director Jim Wofford was standing next to me, and I turned to him a couple times and said, "Jim, where's the ball?" <laughs> Who's got the ball? Of course, I am not a cameraman by uh, camera operator by profession. That we that that work we leave up to Lucas and to Will. They do such a great job at it. Another shot that goes out of bounds. Like to thank our technical crew. We got Lucas just uh, up above us on the roof here. I noticed Lucas brought his winter jacket with though Dan, and he's uh, he he's got it on. But at least we're getting the you know the shelter of the press box here. It's not too cold in here yet, is it? Yeah, this uh, this short sleeve shirt and these shorts they're they're just perfect for this. I don't. I don't it is nice. In I here. don't it's see any perfect I, weather in here. I don't see any icicles on your beard yet. Not yet. <laughs> The smart water is taking care of it. Yeah. You can thank Jane for that smart water. I need that smart water before I come, so I remember to bring my coat. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, see Jane's such a nice person. She, she knew, is a nice she, person. She knew, she knew that you needed that soft water, Dan. That, maybe that maybe next time she'll tuck a little note in that says, bring your coat. <laughs> little, <laughs> little earlier start Saturday night, though, 6 o'clock. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be done before the sun goes down. I haven't looked to see what the weather is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to get warm again, if I'm not mistaken. I know it was supposed to be cool all day today, and it was, but uh, in fact, it was warmer when I went to work this morning now than it is right yeah, now. Yeah, it was warm this morning. Mm -hmm. That's Another nice, chance. Nice ball. <laughs> and a missed. Great save. Oh, wow. Wow. My goodness, this girl's going to come take, and take try a to look, buy Take this, a look at uh, this replay here, Dan. I think she was thinking she's got one, and, boy, Riley I'm Stafford sure she just, it. She just reached out there and deflected that one. And She'll want to take this game. Yeah. Tomb 40 remaining. Folks from Pendleton will be making the uh, trip down State Road 38 down here come Saturday night. You and I will be here. We'll be uh, on the air about 5.55 or so. Arabian still dominating this game. Well, a lot of it's been this keeper, but yeah, Muncie's done pretty well here. This could have been a lot higher scoring game. Oh yeah. 
the unfortunate thing for the Bearcats is they just have not developed, you know, have, have not been able to develop any offense tonight or any time during the season. Got a lot of people getting experience out here for next year, though. Yep. Six goals so far tonight in this match for the uh, Pendleton Heights Arabians. Three of those by Taylor Fort. One ten remaining. Another scoring opportunity. Yep, and this one's going right to be at taken 20, by won't 21 yards. That Riley uh, Riley Shrink is going to have the have the shot. Oh. Hits Hit the over. post. Yep. Riley Stafford's best friend. Every keeper's best friend. Mm -hmm. I remember years ago watching interviews with some of the uh, hockey players and the goalies, and they'd sit there and they'd say, oh, I just love the sound of that Tink. clink coming yeah. off of the post. But then you still have to look back and say, where did it go? Yeah. <laughs> And that's a sport where the ball can get behind, or the puck can get behind the, yeah. the goal, too, and still be alive. Ten, yep, it can. Nine, as is lacrosse. Eight, seven, six, five, well, the Pendleton Heights four, Arabians three, win two, the second one. semifinal game here in the sectional eight soccer. 3A from Noblesville from White River Elementary School. Dan, there isn't a whole lot you can say about this one other than. Uh, it uh, probably came out about as about what we expected, only uh, if it hadn't been for uh, Riley Stafford. This could have been a 10 or 15 goal game for the uh, uh, for the Arabians. What do you look forward to Saturday night between the Arabians and the in the in the Tigers? Well, I'd say that uh, Pendleton's got a got the a tough road ahead of him, going against Fishers. Um, just looking at at games of comparable that they played. I believe they lost to Mount Vernon 3-0. Yes, nothing. they did. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if Fisher played them. HSC beat them significantly. Mm -hmm. So they're they're going to have to put some things together. They did get an opportunity to watch them tonight. And Fisher's had a real tough game tonight. So mm -hmm. that'll, that'll make a difference on Saturday. Well, we will be back here Saturday night at 6. Also a reminder that we will have uh, the Boys Championship, Sectional 8 from Hamilton Southeastern. Coming up Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock, that will be a video-only telecast trying a couple uh, new and different things here on Hamilton County Television. So on behalf of uh, Dan Axe, I'm Brad Silbert. We'd like to thank you for watching tonight's broadcast of IHSAA 3A Soccer on Hamilton County TV, brought to you by Logan Street Signs and Banners, celebrating over 26 years in business. We'd like to also thank our other great sponsors, Noblesville Trophies, the Community Health Network, Church, Church, Hiddle, and Antrim, Smith Jewelers, One Zone, and the HCTVTalenders.com. On behalf of Will Wofford and our cameraman, Mr. Lucas, we appreciate you joining us tonight. I'm Brad Silbert for Dan Axe. Good night from Wright River Elementary School. <laughs>